Hello everyone. Let's start uh, the SSC training. Okay. So let's we will discuss today uh, how do forecasting basically in SSC SAP Analytical Cloud. Okay. And what are the basically options are available for forecasting? Okay. So there is basically a uh, two types. Okay. One is basically uh, automatic forecast other one is the advanced forecast options so in the advanced forecast options there is a regression linear regression okay there we have a triple exponential smoothing and there is additional uh, kind of forecasting inputs so we will discuss okay today all of these features okay on forecasting okay so let's start so this is we have a sap SAP server okay so let's we are going to create a ssc story basically so let's do have here story just click here story and you can create any responsive or canvas types okay and click on classic design experience and now click on create okay so once uh, loaded uh, this okay so now you have to option here insert it click on insert here so once insert it will ask select a model basically okay so we have already a simple uh, models are available okay uh, so you can choose any a uh, sample okay i am choosing this best run run juice sample module click there okay and uh, it is loading so so now you can see it loaded okay and this is basically we have uh, okay uh, so let's uh, come into here okay let's come into story so okay so let's wait a minute so we are selecting this classics create okay so wait a minute it is still loading so let's you have to insert here so once insert you have to select to your sample so as we have selected this one and so wait a minute so it is loading yeah it is uh, loaded here okay now you have to select okay the chart basically on the trend uh, chart structures you have to select a time series okay so now i am selecting a time series here okay once select the time series you have to at least you have to uh, select at least one measure here okay so let's here i am selecting a measure okay or you can create a measure let's say i am going to create a calculations okay create a calculations i'm creating a calculation measure and i'm giving the name like net revenue revenue okay so revenue and you can put it here like sales whatever the sales okay we have a original sales available okay and minus i am giving here some discount sales okay so this is a discount sales okay now you can check the format yeah it is okay validate formula then you can okay and click okay so we have created the basically okay we have added the revenue okay net revenue okay now you have to add the time okay so let's see here as this is a time series okay a chart so it will also only allow to add only a time okay dimension so okay so at least one should be here so we have a only one uh, date only in this uh, model so i am selecting this date here okay so now you can see once you select automatically the chart has display here so whatever the data you have it so okay so just i am going to uh, click here okay i am going to view full screen here so once you uh, see this is a complete you can say the forecast data okay so this is basically we called as a automatic okay as we told okay we will discuss today automatic forecastings okay so this is we have a automatic forecasting if you want to check it here go here add here okay under forecast you can select here automate forecasting if you select automatic forecasting you can see the forecasting okay it is loading so okay so it is not yet loaded now you can see it is loaded so this is a green that means successfully loaded the forecast result or data on your chart okay if it is red that means it is unsuccessful if it is purely that means it is a in progress or okay so wait for a while okay so this is the indications okay 
now you can see the forecast has been loaded here so these are the basically data is available now these are the very big data but let me uh, some uh, going to change the some uh, format of number format so let's see million so we have uh, did that okay now you can see here yeah now you can see we have a uh, number formatted we did okay now you can see the data okay you can forecast as you told this is automatic forecasting okay so data would be whatever the sales data okay revenue data okay for each month you can see the each month wise data you can display here month wise three every three months you can see the data six months okay why why to d one year all even in all data you can see this is the line basically this line indicate that is your uh, forecasting data okay next two years okay uh like two month three okay even you can see here we have a drill option set drill you can see year wise data half year or month wise data currently it is a month wise wise data display in the chart if you would like to year wise you can see the year wise data okay so uh, this is basically how automatic uh, forecasting okay see so still this showing a uh, loading so it takes time because a lot of data is available now the forecast you can see the data this is a, a, a line okay is line that indicate your forecast data basically so this is how you can uh, display your uh, automatic uh, forecast okay so even you can see uh, this exit your uh, particular okay and now if, if if in case okay let's see one more features i would like to tell you here okay let's see full screen and now you can see this once click this forecast option you will see here automatic this is the automatic forecasting okay and you can uh you can see now the period of your forecasting is the one month here period okay now if you want to increase decrease you can do it this let's see here if you want two three see three months so you can see the data in three months okay just you can see here the three months data you can see here. Okay. so this is how basically okay even you can see here options are there you can see the three month data okay one year data so this is how you can display the data for forecasting okay even you can we have a drill it okay depend upon your requirement you can check the data here so now let's uh, we have another options if you go here add options under forecast this is a first one automatic was there okay now let's go with the advanced options under advanced option you will have a linear uh, regressions okay we have a triple exponential smoothing we have a add, add additional inputs so let's go with the linear regression so if you can see the data here on the linear uh, regression so you can see here uh, still it is loading so let's wait for the load done yeah now you can see here okay this is the you can see the, the uh, indicates basically the the sided uh you will see here so these are the basically linearity okay linear uh forecasting okay you can see the data if you go for the six months okay you can see that this is a sided okay uh indicates this is a linear kind of okay uh forecasting happening for uh, one year or three months or what okay six months so this is how basically we can define a linear okay or you can have a linear a kind of okay forecasting okay so another if you go for here under forecasting you will have another option called triple exponential if you select here accordingly the triple uh, okay uh, exponential smoothing kind of uh, forecasting it is going to see it is successful you can see how the data is going to display this is the linear okay exponential kind of uh, uh, you can see the forecasting happening based on your uh, data okay whatever the data like every year okay, the data based data you can see the exponential triple exponential kind of okay a forecasting okay so now let's go for the other one okay we have a one more kind of you can see go advanced other one is called here yeah, add additional inputs if you click there okay you will see here it is asking some additional input forecast input you can define your own additional input here okay so let's already we have a, a data here you can see uh, let's price or something like original sales price like this one okay and check okay let's now it is saying none of the additional input are being considered in this forecast due to lack of the feature value okay so here is not supporting that's reason okay unable to 
input your uh, forecast value basically here additional forecast value but okay you can uh, define okay uh, okay whenever you will have uh, okay so, so this is the way uh, you can define all kind of uh, like a uh, forecasting so till now basically we, we will have a, uh, already will show you like automatic uh, forecasting basically automatic forecasting uh, basically a uh, forecast the result okay based on your original data like you can display a uh, next 10 year 5 year 1 year or 10 month 2 month 3 months so that would be the automatic forecast okay accordingly we have a advance okay if in case you require advance like kind of forecasting linear regression based on the logicals okay you want to define any kind of uh, forecastings okay you can define go with the linear and triple exponential as well okay you can define it and additional uh, input if in case you have a okay such additional forecast input in your uh, model you can define it so this is basically how we can have a forecasting uh, uh, do it uh, in, in in your ssc okay so let me know if in case any questions query okay comment comment me mail me if in case okay any doubt any query okay okay and definitely you should subscribe this channel okay thank thank you for attending this session we will See you soon. Okay. Thank